Well, hello, it's Aton coming to you from West Hollywood, and I am in Plummer Park. I'm here to check out this building behind me, uh, which was known as the Plummer Park Community Clubhouse, composed of two main buildings, the Long Hall and the Great Hall. This is on the National Register of Historic Places as a great example of the way that LA County was working with the Works Progress Administration in the 1930s. Quick uh, historical catch up. The Works Progress Administration, or the WPA, was set up in the 1930s by the federal government to help Americans get back to work and stimulate the job market and the economy as well. So at the time, there were a ton of people moving west to California uh, to try and seek jobs during the Great Depression. Southern California local governments uh, really needed help building up the local infrastructure. So they worked with the federal government uh, to develop new buildings, recreation facilities, improve roads, build bridges, that kind of thing. And this community clubhouse was one of the projects that resulted. So this was designed by LA's chief architect at the time, Edward C.N. Brett. You'll see a lot of details that are typical of the Spanish colonial style in here. The uh, red tiles on the roof and uh, some arches and the doorways and such. On the inside, there's uh, like these long colonnades as well. Um, and that kind of architecture, the Spanish colonial, was very typical of Los Angeles in like the 1920s but uh, it was very atypical for a lot of the WPA buildings. WPA buildings tended to have uh, more of like a streamlined, modern feel, uh, sort of like an uh, art deco, but with less decoration. The idea behind designing a Spanish colonial building for this was really to connect it with uh, this romanticized uh, Spanish and Mexican past. So this property was originally part of the Rancho La Brea land grant. Right before LA County bought it in 1937, it was owned by uh, Eugene Captain Plummer. He had owned it since the 1870s. And so for 60 years, he had uh, developed it. This was the last four acres of undeveloped land in Plummer's 160 acre lot. So that in itself is pretty incredible. And in fact, part of the terms of the sale between Plummer and L.A. County was that Plummer would be able to continue living here in the house that he had lived in for decades. And the house was here until uh, the early 1980s when it was moved off premises. They moved it to where the Leonis Adobe is in uh, Calabasas. Okay, so what were the Great Hall and the Long Hall used for? Well, originally the Long Hall was a reading room and the Great Hall was used for entertainment, performances, uh, social gatherings, things like that. Uh, but over the years, this has served a lot of different functions for a lot of different people. So as you can see right behind me, uh, this part known as the Audubon House, this was the headquarters of the LA branch of the Audubon Society. Uh, they are committed to preserving wildlife and, and bird life in particular. And for uh, many years also, the Long Hall has hosted the LA Russian Library. West Hollywood, where we're at right now, uh, has a huge Russian immigrant population. So this continues to be super important for them. In the late 80s uh, through the mid 90s, the Great Hall was the meeting place for an organization called ACT UP. And this was a group of uh, uh, predominantly LGBTQ plus uh, community members who lived around the WeHo area who were trying to get the federal government to pay attention to and help fight the uh, AIDS HIV epidemic that was just sweeping through their community and predominantly affecting them. And they were very successful in getting the government to sponsor research and, uh, and health care related to that crisis. And for years they would meet here and uh, work on their organizing strategies can't say enough how important this place has been to so many communities over the years. Thanks for doing LA with me.